Now, you're also chair of the Hawke's Bay Civil Defence Emergency Management yes. Group Joint Committee, big title, um, which oversees the Emergency Management Group, and you've commissioned an independent review into the response. Who is conducting the review and what stage are they at? Um, so, in terms of conducting uh, the review, um, we have Simplexity as a um, as an independent, uh, qualified, experienced um, group of reviewers yeah. um, within their company. Um, so they're they're helping us form the scope. Okay. Uh, so that's the stage that we're at. Okay. Um, terms of reference are still yet to be confirmed around that review, um, but it is independent and um, it is looking at uh, and understanding what happened operationally and then where the learnings from that going forward. So how long do you think, I know it's difficult, with, but are we talking years? Uh, no, absolutely not. So... Um, I suppose the purpose of reviews is to get an understanding mm. and people want certainty around that. Um, and then the next is, is what those learnings and findings are. And we we're already at a stage of planning recovery. Yeah. So part of those findings, findings need to inform uh, how we move forward and where the investment needs to be uh, to, to better uh, what has been done. Yeah. So do you pledge to follow the recommendations when you get them? Um, pledge to follow the recommendations. Yeah. Well, do you, are, you, are, are you going to use the recommendations? If you get a list of things that need to be done and that, will you follow Yeah, them? Abs well, that's the whole purpose of a review, yeah. is to have recommendations yeah. to say where improvements can be made and how you implement them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Um, and what is your personal view on how that emergency group responded? Um, so as soon as um, yeah, the 14th of February, um, I think with the resources that they could pull in out from out of the region to support uh, our lo locations such as our uh, local um, hubs and councils, yeah. they were kicked in. Tihei Modi Order, uh, run by Ngāti Kahungunu Iwi Incorporated, yeah. uh, they could kick in. So I think that uh, with the resource that they had, uh, did a tremendous job. Yeah. However, I understand that there were probably uh, long-term um, gaps in terms of how communities are more resilient to respond. Yeah. Um, and some communities did a brilliant job. Yeah. And they absolutely um, could pull together. The collectivism was seen, uh, leadership was seen in those communities. And they were tight-knit communities. And um, just with our Māori communities and having that understanding, they were able to stand up, understand the need of their community and get on with that pulling in support from uh, this, this group control and civil defence hubs. So, yeah. yeah, I think there was a range, to be fair, I think there were a range of responses across our community yeah. um, and group and local control did the best they could. Because yeah. um, my sense um, is that a lot of people were caught out by this mm. and we didn't no one predicted it to be what it was. Yeah. And I mean, the, the group controller was on the South Island tramping. Mm -hmm. Was Is that an issue or is it just one of those things that, that, that happened? Um, well, he had contingency plans for those people to take those places. Yeah. Um, and, and they were aware of that as well. Mm. So, um, yeah, at, at the time, um, it was seen that the, the right people were in the right positions um, to manage that. Um, and you note about um, the forecasting, yeah. which is really interesting mm. because uh, we are provided information from Met Service. Uh, we take that information very seriously. Mm. Um, that goes into a modelling system yeah. to, to almost um, be able to produce, right, um, these are the risk levels. Um, and uh, so at that time, it was seen as uh, based on Met Service's data yeah. that, that we could cope. Because I think even Met Services said they were caught out a bit by it as well. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, when did you declare a civil emergency? Um, so my recollection is uh, the mayor's called theirs um, early first. Yeah, yeah early 3 morning. Yeah, three a.m. Yep, um, as district uh, yeah. as just districts. Uh, then the regional um, a few hours. Okay. Um, so that was from myself, um, and then a few hours after that the national. 
Because at these public meetings, which mm. I know can get a bit out of hand at times, but yeah. um, um, there was criticism that it could have been earlier widened to preempt mm. it and call the emergency. Mm. I suppose it's hindsight and exact science. What, what's yeah. your view on that? Yeah, I think we do the best to make decisions based on the information yeah. we have, and I, I do have to come back to the met surf, yeah. service data. Mm. Yeah. Was it a difficult decision for you? To call a regional, yeah, yeah. Um, n- not at all. We yeah. take advice, um, yeah. and that advice was followed through very quickly. Yeah.